Then moving on with that, talking about fame, which I think was awesome as well to kind of segue off of this, it's been the whole sweet year affair with the whole her selling 2K um, album copies, or I think it's an EP, I'm not sure if it's an album, is it an album? Let's see in the club, what does it say here? It says the, the, the single life. Okay, it, it doesn't say it's EP, so I want to call it an album. So she released this album called The Single Life, and it sold 2,000 copies first week, and everybody's obviously been panning her and ripping her to shreds on the internet about it. And for the most part, the you know the response is somewhat justified, because I guess for some people's eyes, she's the person who brought down the Migos, or maybe played a part in those guys not being together in their final moments, unfortunately. RIP Takeoff, which is unfair to judge her and to blame her for that. But you know how some people are when they're in fandom and when they're grieving, you know, they kind of try to point the finger at anybody to try and make it sense, make it make sense. Maybe some people also, if you're a Cardi B fan, you're not a fan of her because you feel like she's a homewrecker because she says she come in and purposely maybe hasn't confirmed yet possibly might have maybe not fucked off set which maybe led to the group breaking up we're not too sure of either but what i do feel like this is a good reminder is that for the most part if you're somebody of her ilk or why i think this didn't work out is that i wasn't aware of any singles usually when you're promoting an album like this is usually a single or two that you put out in order for people to anticipate the album dropping now the singles don't have to be on the album that's a trick also i think a lot of people do where they have a single that's not actually on the album but it's just to use as a bit of content that you can kind of springboard off of and use as a conversation piece to engage your audience engage the media and whatnot and start to kind of press run in terms of getting your album promo out there so it doesn't always have to be album cuts that could end up being a single but i didn't really hear nothing that really kind of compelled me to kind of keep an eye on it in terms of that and I'm somebody that keeps an eye on album releases. I'm kind of following all the correct pages in terms of getting a heads up on what's going to drop, you know, and, you know, following certain websites and whatnot. And I had no idea this was dropping, legitimately zero. The only maybe inkling I could have had was because of that freestyle she put out that was meant to be the tell all and meant to give her side in terms of the whole sordid affair behind the rumors that she might have you know stepped the offset and whatnot which might have led to the him getting essentially excommunicated from the amigos and quavo and she's saying that he's not family or whatnot anymore going forward maybe who knows if that's particularly true but when the freestyle did come out it was very underwhelming didn't actually say too much it felt like a bit of a honey dick a bit of a cock tease and it kind of amounted to absolutely nothing but apart from that the promo was terrible so for sure her team needs to be blamed and held accountable for that for sure they didn't really promote the album well and for the most part they then got their just dues and their punishment because then the album didn't sell and you know we are what we are in that regard but what i do think this is a good thing for especially someone like myself who's an up-and-coming dj and kind of trying to you know pursue that as a career going forward and especially something i want to do in the latter years of my life is something i want to do just continually on the side it is quite sobering to see that even though this person has 300 or sorry 13 million followers on instagram and however many she might have on other social media platforms all combined maybe 20 it may be 30 but it's a lot of millions in terms of all that stuff what i like is that when it comes to creative work when it comes to actually creating products that people want to enjoy there is no cheating of the numbers so for sure it can it's safe to say that this follower account my amount is probably not legit and what it does show is that most people i'd probably say 99 percent, maybe 90 percent of the people in the industry on the entertainment or in the arts they have especially if it requires some level of social media presence most of them guys have fake metrics it's not real all of their metrics is wrong all of their follower accounts you know amounts are wrong the amount of likes they have on their pictures are fake sorry um followers account followers they have is fake the comments they have is fake all that engagement is all fake for the most part and I, and i know why they do it it does make sense because this pays because if you say to somebody that you have 30 million followers what that does is that that allows you to then try and go out there and get brand deals against your amount of followers that you have because the brands want to get in front of those 13 million and advertise their product services or wares so this makes all the sense why people do go out there and buy followers buy views and whatnot the harmful thing with that in the long run is that it doesn't serve you if you don't if your work isn't good it doesn't serve you and usually if you're just starting out cheating the system that way and making yourself look like you're further in your career than you should be is also not a good thing because it just you know it just kind of when when it gets down to the brass knucks of it and you start getting deals or opportunities that would kind of be 
you know, uh, equivalent to a level that you're kind of purporting to be, something will definitely end up giving and it won't be the greatest thing for you. So, and I also think for me personally, as, a, as an artist coming up, as somebody wanting to make a no name for themselves, you're much better off starting from the ground zero of getting one play and that, you know, doubling up to 10 to 1,000 to 10,000 slowly in incremental steps than you are to try and fake that you've got a 1,000 plays from the jump when no one knows who you are. You're better off starting from absolute zero because that's how you actually build a fan base that's actually going to stick with you for the majority of your life. Now, there are other stories where it's kind of different. I think of the Travis Scott thing where he essentially did a lot of faking it till you make it, but he, you know, had maybe did it for the point of view of like knowing I've got the talent, I've got the ability, I just need to present myself in a certain way, look a particular way on the internet, um, had these particular sounds associated to me. And then once I get people interested, I can then bang them over the head with the stuff that I actually do. That's one way to do it, but it's a very risky, you know, option to do, and not a lot of people can succeed doing it. But I think it's very advantageous, I would say, to just be somebody starting off small, starting off very niche, and kind of building up. Because if a follower account was three million, if it was five million, if it was six million, if it was ten, if it was even eight, this would maybe add up a little bit. But I feel like sometimes keeping your followers account somewhat legit, keeping your sub somewhat legit, keeping your view count, your play count somewhat legit can really serve in the long run. Because once you end up building up your esteem and your career, it ends up getting a bit better. Because I see a lot with these DJ live streams I watch a lot of times. I see people get like a thousand views, 100,000. Like it's impossible that 100,000 people are watching this. This is terrible. It's not that great. And also, you know, they're not that, they're not as big as they're trying to make it seem as it's just a little bit, it doesn't, it's a bit of a mismatch. And ultimately what happens is that I'm sure behind the scenes, bookers go out and book some of these people because they have, you know, 100,000 streams or 100,000 sorry, views of their live stream on horror or on boiler room. They then get booked to play somewhere and they can't move more than 20 tickets. Then suddenly this promoter in Romania is that thinking, huh? right like it's a smaller market you're trying to get people to come out into your flipping new club and then you essentially spunk all this money in the dj that can't fill a room of 250 people that's a real problem so it ends up catching up with you in the end so i think the good thing about this is that it shows that even though in the beginning she probably botted a lot of her followers and so because i still don't believe this followers account is real especially for the amount of people that actually would end up buying her album it still ends up going to be a good thing because what it will end up doing is giving you a lesson and showing you that you know what it's better to start humble start small and then kind of build up from there going forward so i feel like this will end up being a net positive because it'll show that there's a lot of work to do in terms of getting her fan base back where it needs to be. That's definitely the main place to be. And also there's a lot of you know work to do in order to kind of engage the fan base again in terms of trusting what she does, because that's the thing people don't really speak about enough. Also, once you put out too much shit work, your fans move on to other people and there's plenty of artists out there. Yes, she's a beautiful girl and everything, but you know, there's plenty of hot girls out there that make music. So you're not like the only person. So you can't keep putting out terrible work and think your fans are going to still be there for you. You have to treat them with some you know hint of respect and honor their time and their money and stuff so hopefully this is a time to go back to a drawing board with this sort of thing